Pisces, welcome to Antique Tarot. Today we're doing your love reading for January 2022. I um, apologize to you Piscean for uh, last October, well two months ago. You guys were supposed to be next after Libra, but I got tied up busy with work and then I got sick. So I've been sick the past few weeks or so, still having a lingering cough, so excuse me if I cough during your reading. So as a result, I am doing your uh, King of Swords, or maybe an air sign, though. Uh, I am doing your readings um, a second after Libra, uh, because you were supposed to be next after Libra in October, but I never got a chance to get to your reading. So today we're doing your love reading for January 2022. So let's see what the New Year's hold for you guys. And I hope you guys had a good Christmas yesterday if you celebrate Christmas. If not, I hope you had a good day anyway. And happy holidays. Cars are jumpy. So I call on all my guys, angels, and Senate masters. Please help me be a clear channel for the Pisces Collective. Who will be tuning in for this reading messages for Piscean in love for their love relationship for January 2022 cards are popping so we have two of ones the fool and five pentacles and as you saw this was meant to come out because it flipped uh, a couple minutes ago I put it back I don't know if you guys noticed so bottom of the deck, we have King of Pentacles. So we had the King of Swords that popped out earlier too. So Two of Wands, you guys may be um, planning. Plan. It says plans, partnership, influence. So you, you guys are planning or thinking about making plans. But then I'm also picking up, you guys may be trying to figure out um, between two plans or trying to decide between two options because I read intuitively so traditionally this card two of ones is about planning which you guys may be doing but energetically even when I saw it you know when it was flipping out I think this is another card that flipped out doing the doing the um as I was shuffling so I feel like you guys are making plans and trying to decide between perhaps two to love interests or two options to pass all right and there is a new beginning so your planning may be about um, starting fresh starting new taking a leap uh, of, of, of faith taking a risk because it says her potential risk so you may be planning on making a change starting a new um, and then taking a leap of faith, like diving in, jumping into something new, starting anew. It's a good time to do it for the New Year's. Most people do do that. So, makes sense. Now, Five of Pentacles. You guys may be feeling like you're left out in the cold or worry that you may be left out in the cold um, and maybe perhaps worried or troubled about finances. Or financial loss um, due to due to taking this uh, due this leap of faith due to this new start you guys are concerned that you may go through some kind of financial loss All right there is a new beginning uh, coming in for you guys and as I say worry about financial loss this is saying prosperity, beginnings, prosperity. So Spirit is confirming that this scenario that you may be going through right now or concern may be happening, it's not going to happen because you have this new beginning, which is confirming this. So this is a major arcana for new beginning. This is a minor arcana for new beginnings. So you have two confirmation of new beginnings, but this is also money. So the new beginning is going to work out for you. There will be prosperity and abundance coming in. So no need to worry about uh, 
being left out in the Cold War lack of finances. <clears throat> so there is some kind of an offer coming in for you guys as well. Some kind of a love offer or some someone expressing their emotions or their feelings to you guys. And there's also um, oh, an awakening. So the person that's coming to make uh, express their feelings or emotion and love to you may have just had uh, a, an awakening of some sort. Now, this is a general reading, so the roles could be reversed. So if it is switch, because it could be you or it could be them. All right, or it may not resonate at all if it's not your reading. If you want a um, personalized, personalized reading, um, my email is in the description. And you guys want a book? All right. So underneath we have this King of Pentacles. So there may be an Earth sign involved, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn, and there may be an air sign involved, which is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, because the, 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 um, the King of Swords had flipped over during the pre-shuffle. <coughs> mm. So, Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> Some of you guys have been working hard or maybe even studying oh it says hard work and I said working hard and you're gonna receive the efforts or see the rewards from that hard work so this hard work may be what's leading you to make this decision so you guys been working hard whether it's studying or researching or um, putting some kind of effort or work in and so you guys are going to be or maybe even studying you guys are going to be rewarded for that so there's a um, rewards coming for you guys because we have the ace of pentacles and now we have eight of pentacles so it looks like you guys are going to have a fruitful start to the new year because all your work have paid off and look top of the deck we have wheel of fortune so this is change and destiny so the change that's going to be happening to you guys or the change that you will be making so this is confirmed there is a change happening for you guys however things have been if things have not been that great that it will change for the better all right so but definitely change major arcana card and it's a destined card so this change is meant to be is a destined change okay let's see what else is going on what else for pisces spirit additional messages for the piscean collective in love At the beginning, the cards kept on flipping, and now it doesn't want to flip. Messages for Piscean Collective and Love Spirit. I feel like this card. Ace of Swords. See? Look, there's another change. Change, decisions, action. Success. Confirmation. Definitely new beginnings, because you have the Ace of Pentacles, and then you have the full and uh, uh, ace of swords now and you guys are going to be clear you're going to have clear thinking clear thought you'll have clarity it'll come to you you'll see it clearly um remember i was saying decisions and then now it's decisions here as well success change decisions so whatever decisions you are making or have made or will be making will be a successful decision and it looks like a decision to start anew and and make some kind of change or start something taking a leap of faith 
a little worry about finances, but spirit saying it'll be okay. And whatever change you are making, you will be successful. For some of you Pisces, it may not only be a change of relationship, it may be change of job or work or some kind of way or form you guys are making money is what I'm uh, sensing. But we are doing a love reading. Um, but if it, if it applies, if you're not inquiring about love relationship, if it, if it applies to some kind of uh, work or career or some kind of formal way that you guys make money, um, take it how it resonates because that's possible as well. Look, you guys, Six of Pentacles, you guys are, are definitely coming into some kind of money or abundance, so no, no worries. This is the gift card. It's about receiving, um, you know, money coming in. Traditionally, there there's a scale and money is being given out, but money is coming in for you guys you know abundance and up there we have abundance so whatever change that you're making it's going to be successful fruitful and you will receive abundance and have abundance coming in as well oh look nine of cups wish fulfillment happiness um joy optimism money you know ha happiness so you will be happy. You will get your heart's content, your wish fulfillment. Whatever it is that you wish, make sure you're, you know, focusing on what you want. And whatever your wish is, you will get your wish. This is a wish card. Wow, Pisceans, this is a nice reading for the new year. We have nine of pentacles. Look, comfort, accomplishment, prosperity. So again, so I guess you guys, you Piscean really need... Um, confirmation and validation that you will be okay financial wise although the reading is a love reading and it may have to do with love maybe you guys are starting a new without the the love interest who may have been supporting you I don't know what you guys are doing or maybe you're changing job or changing how you're making money but spirit is confirming over and over and over again that you'll be successful and your finances you'll be okay um you know you won't be left out in the cold because this lady is very comfortable she's very relaxed prosperity stability um and then you also have your wish card as well happiness emotional fulfillment now this lady is a single lady so i'm getting a sense you guys may have ended a relationship or deciding to and you guys gonna go for it and end it and you're gonna end up it's gonna be a good decision and you'll end up happy um single and happy and you'll be able to support yourself if that is the case if, if that is what you're doing if you're making a decision to walk away from a relationship and maybe the your uh, significant other have been supporting you financially and your concern uh, uh, you know you have financial concern you'll find a way and you'll be okay is what spirits say <clears throat> four of pentacles is the card at the bottom of the deck see holding on to money abundance so the, your reading is all about finances and money so you may have been feeling trapped all this time due to money and having anxiety but you decide you made your decision I guess for the new year and, uh, and you're going to take that leap of faith. Yeah, there's been uh, debate and struggle. Maybe disagreeing or fighting arguments. or Wow. So we have the devil. Yeah. You guys may have been in a toxic relationship. Um, an unhealthy one. Where there may be addiction or attachments. Something not good for you where you felt trapped in, uh, where there was a lot of people involved, fights, struggling, arguments. All right, and I guess you've had enough of it and you decided to, uh, to step out, take that leap of faith. Yeah, choice decision. And that's the first card we had and that was the first energy I picked up even though the card is about making plans, I just felt that energetically, intuitively, I felt there was a decision. Yeah, 
you guys had to make a decision or are, are, are about to make a decision but you guys couldn't see you were may have been in denial you didn't want to make a decision you were stuck you felt trapped um, and it's a difficult decision it's a difficult decision so it, it in this reading the cards are really encouraging you to uh, to take that leap of faith and it seems like you will be <coughs> yeah moving forward as I say it seems like you guys will be we have the chariot this is the movement card journey success do you see how many and it says progress you see how many um, success <coughs> and abundance and happiness and joy car you guys have so the cards are definitely confirming your choice and uh, and saying you will be successful you'll be comfortable you'll be fine um, and 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 you there won't be any lack so here we have ten of swords ending completion so it looks like you guys are ending a relationship or if it's not a love reading, then ending that job or career. Although this is a love reading. But I picked up earlier the, the, the reading may be for career for some of you. Because I felt career energy. Or it may be related. You know, it's kind of love and money kind of go together. Because, like I said, some, your love interest may have been supporting you financial wise. Temperance. Guidance, healing, moderation. Yeah, your guides, your angels are with you. And you are healing from that situation. And uh, and balancing yourself. You'll be fine. And the energy for you guys, Pisces, it feels like you guys are very grounded. Even though you guys are a water sign like me. And most of the time, water sign, we're very emotional and hysterical and sensitive. But it sounds like you guys have given a lot of thought on this and it's a long time coming and it sounds like you've had enough and you made your decision. So the energy, it feels very, very grounded and very healing. It looks like you guys spent a lot of time meditation, prayer, and you guys sound very grounded, meaning it's not impulsive, it's not emotional, it's not out of fear. It feels like you guys have a plan, and it seems like you see wish fulfillment and abundance, and so you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. See? Higher font. Structure, knowledge, wisdom, teacher. So you are being guided. But you had spent some time meditating, praying in solitude, and um, and and you got your guidance. That's probably why it feels so good, because you're being guided. Yeah, rest, recovery, quiet rest. So all, yeah, you've been healing, healing, meditating, praying, balancing, recovering, resting. Yeah. So you went inside. You went within, and uh, and you got your answer, your guidance, and it's 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 helping you, and you're trusting that, so that's good. Yeah, so you guys went through a heartbreak. Sorry about that, but it will soon be behind you. As I say, it will soon be behind you. Guess what's the next card on top is Two of Cups. Partnership, harmony, peace. Yeah, so a good new start for you guys for the new year. Look, King of Cups. So there may be another water sign involved. Another Pisces or a Cancer or a Scorpio. And look, we had it up here too. Remember I said, because you had the new beginning and someone's coming in the night making an offer. So, or there, perhaps this is someone you may already know. He may, he or she may be on the outskirts of your life. And once you make this decision and start anew, it may create space for the energy to come in. So there is a new connection coming in for you guys. Um, and it could be another water sign and coming in to make an offer. Expressing their feelings and emotion. And that's why you have that wish fulfillment coming in. So new start, new love offer, new abundance, new money. It's looking good and sounding good. Yeah, Three of Cups, Abundance, Joy, Friends, Friendship. Confirmation after confirmation. This is a ni very nice reading. Yeah, Walking Away. 
So eight of cups change. Uh, yep, you have a uh, a new beginning, an ending card, and then and then you have a walking away card. So basically, leaving a dissatisfactory place that was not satisfying you or fulfilling your soul, um, not feeding you spiritually, leaving it behind, going towards something that resonate with you more or someone or relationship or career that resonate with you and your soul more that, that fulfills and satisfies your soul. Okay, it's been stressful. That's why you've been healing from it. Yeah, and you're going to manifest. You're going to manifest that new life, new relationship, new love, new abundance, whatever your heart's desire is because you have the wish card. And it's going to come in very quickly. It says good news, travel, good news. Yeah, it's going to come in very quickly. Whatever this offer is, whether it's a career offer or love offer or both, Whatever it is, whatever message is going to come in very quickly. It's like wham, bam, you make a decision. Next thing you know, everything's rolling. Yep, and then we have the lovers. Love, harmony. Wow, you guys. And the four of wands. Oh, my God. 11, 11. So it may be a twin flame uh, journey that you're about to embark in. Or the next person coming in may be your twin flame. Because this is 1111's Twin Flame card, creating union freedom. So we have the lovers, and we have creativity, union freedom. So maybe you guys are done all your work and you're healing, and it's a destined change. Remember, it's a destined change. And we also have two of cups, and then we have the knights and the king. Wow. All the connection cards. So it may be a Twin Flame that may be coming in for you guys. It may be time because you guys have done the work. And um, <clears throat> and you pay your dues. And it's, it's a destined change. And, uh, and it's time. Wow. This has been a beautiful reading, you guys. I didn't even need clarifier card. I got this deck out to uh, pull clarifier cards. But it looks like I don't need it. It was very clear cut and straightforward so let's pull some of these <coughs> to see any final messages all right <coughs> surrender your fear of change the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always whether you're afraid of a change in your job wow your health or a relationship or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith and uh, that all is well. Remember, we, you had the reassurance throughout the whole reading and even now at the end, the final card. So release that fear because remember the opposite of uh, fear is love. And fear stands for false ev evidence appearing real and fear paralyzes, you know, so and it, it, it blocks you. So release the fear, have faith and trust. Uh, the cards are showing you have wish fulfillment, you have abundance, you have happiness, joy, love coming in. It's a beautiful, beautiful reading, you guys, you Piscean. Surrender low self-esteem. So you may need to do that as well. Surrender to play. Play a little bit. And if you're frustrated, surrender your frustration. I don't know if that applies or not. But um, those are the other cards that uh, are, this was at the top of the deck and these were the next two cards at the bottom of the deck but you guys sounds like you guys deserve it you guys had heal, broken heart healing and you went within and you did work on yourself and now you're ready so it's it's a beautiful energy you guys I'm so happy to uh, to uh, see this for you guys to for those that resonate and if it resonated let me know in the comments um, that it resonated so I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope it did resonate for you. Um, and love and light to you. And Happy New Year. And I will catch you again in the next video. Bye.